so this is the part 2 basics for the lecture 1 and lecture 2 so in the part 1 i discussed uh, how the skin is formed right the skin forms from the cells in the ecto the cells in the ectoderm they form a group of cells that is they called basal cells they have very large nucleus they have very large nucleus understand and that cells sit in the basement membrane this is the membrane this is the membrane okay so then these cells divide These cells divide and form the cells above this layer. These cells divide and they form the layers which is above the this basal layer. So this is the basal layer and layer means stratum so this is called stratum basalis it is called stratum basalis so these cells the cells in the stratum basalis and they divide and they form the cells which is above to this layer and this layer are called as stratum spinosum stratum spinosum because these cells have some spines like structure okay which connects the cells so that is called stratum spinosum then this layer mature this layer not divide this layer mature and they form cells okay these cells and this cells are called granular cell granulosa cells and this layer is called stratum granulosum okay and when they mature the nucleus size reduces the nucleus size reduces okay and they have some granules they have some granules they have some granules so that's why they called granular cells stratum granulosum stratum granulosum stratum granulosum and finally these cells completely mature and they form stratum current it becomes completely flat and it is has very dot like nucleus and these cells die and they form a thick protein coat so these flat cells are called stratum corneum the flat cells this layer are called stratum corneum and this protein layer the cells die and they form this layer 
and this is called straight term keratin straight term keratin and actually they call it as a keratinized layer keratin layer they call it as keratin layer okay so otherwise it is called as keratin layer keratin layer okay so this is the cells which comes from the ectoderm during embryogenesis so first the basal cells are formed from that basal cells they divide and they form the stratum spinosal cells and the stratum spinosal cells mature and they form the stratum granulosum cells then they again completely mature and they form stratum corneal cells and then they die and they form the they mature and finally they die and they form this this keratin layer they form this keratin layer so these are the cells we call it as this group of cells and these layers are called as keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium okay now you all know what is the type of epithelium in the skin it is a keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium so this whole layer of cells which comes from the ectoderm and you all know from the ectoderm neuroectoderm comes what comes from the ectoderm neuro ectoderm comes this neuro ectoderm uh, is formed and from the neuro ectoderm the brain brain is formed central nervous system is formed okay so from the mesoderm i told all the muscles bone cartilage blood vessel blood all comes right from this mesoderm the blood vessels comes just below the skin and which supplies the skin epithelium okay so this this blood vessels comes from the mesoderm and supports the epithelium and they also have some connective tissue cells which is also comes from the mesoderm and these cells are called fibro blast which secrete collagen which secrete collagen a connective tissue substance which secretes collagen so this is collagen okay and this basement membrane is also made up of collagen this also made up of collagen so this whole supporting structure this whole supporting structure okay and which comes from the mesoderm and they also have blood cells right they also have blood cells this blood cells also come from the mesoderm okay so this supporting structures all come from the mesoderm so this whole completely together this whole completely together is the skin understand so the cellular part the main cellular part of the skin that is keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium and which comes from the ectoderm and the supporting structure that is blood vessel connective tissue connective tissues blood vessels all comes from the mesoderm so the supporting structures are called mesenchymal structure mesenchymal 
structures. This main epithelium, it is called parenchymal. 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 Okay. So, in any tissue, if you take a liver, for example, if you take a liver, liver contains hepatocytes, that is the parent epithelium, that is the main epithelium, main cells, hepatocytes. So, this is called parenchymal, this is called parenchymal and they also have blood vessel, they also have blood vessel, fibroblast and this all gives supports to this cell. So, this is called mesenchymal. So, if you take any tissue, they have a parenchymal component and mesenchymal component. This parenchymal component determines the function of that organ. Parenchymal component determines the function of that organ. Mesenchymal component determines the support of that organ. It does not, does not determine the function. It gives support to that functioning cells of that organ. Okay. So, this you should understand because this is very, very important. So, this parenchymal means in that organ, this, the, uh, the organ function is given by a group of cells that is called functional unit of that organ that is called parenchymal component. Anything which supports that structure, it is called mesenchymal component. For example, in the skin, the epithelium, the keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium is the parenchymal component and connected tissues, blood vessels, blood cells or the mesenchymal component. Okay. So, this uh, skin, the cell which is coming from the ectoderm, this is called epidermis. This is called, and this whole structure is called epidermis and this whole structure is called dermis called dermis ok so these are the basic structure of the basic structure of the skin ok in between the you all know skin as color right the colored sub colored substance the colored substance in the skin which comes from the which comes from the cells which is sitting in between the basal cells which is sitting in between the basal cells that cells are called that cells are called melanocyte the cells are called melanocytes what is this cell name melano melanocyte okay and this melanocyte has lot of finger like projections lot of finger like productions they produce color and this color goes to the basal cells and sometimes it goes to the spinocell cells this color okay so that's why we get skin color okay so that's why the skin gets the color so the color comes actually from the melanocyte and the melanocyte takes this color and give it to the other cells so the color which is produced by the melanocyte is called melanin the pigment which produced by the melanocyte is called melanin. This pigment, this colored substance give us protection against the ultraviolet rays. It gives protection against the ultraviolet rays. Okay. So, this is the basic structure. I took skin as the example and I explained the terminologies parenchyma and mesenchyma and I explained the different layers in the skin. Uh, especially in this, uh, the epidermis. In the epidermis, we have keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium. It made up of multiple layers, stratum basalis, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum and keratin layer. This keratin layer is formed because these cells mature and they die. Okay, That is keratin layer. So, this is about the uh, explanation for parenchyma and mesenchyma by I use the example skin okay now okay and for example if any cell has to divide this is a nucleus if this cell has to divide it goes for mitotic division and 
gives to daughter cells right it has to be stimulated it has to be stimulated okay so the, the stimulating substance may be a hormone or it may be growth factors it may be growth factors understand so it may be a hormone or growth factor so they have to stimulate the cell and they have to go for division they form the cell division okay so then they will become into two cells likewise again this cell is stimulated again they will divide into two cell they divide into two cell it is called mitosis and it has to be stimulated it has to be stimulated cells cannot divide by itself okay so cell has to be stimulated then the cell has should should have the capacity to divide capacity to divide so which means there are some cells in our body which cannot divide example example brain cells example brain cells neurons another example cardiac muscle cells heart muscle cells heart muscle cells okay so these are the cells which cannot divide so there are some cells regularly divide regularly divide example skin cells example skin cells they regularly divide why they are regularly dividing because once they divide okay they form the basal cell then they divide and they form the grand spinosome cells and they mature and they mature and they become flat corneal cells and they die and they die and they form the keratin layer once they die again they divide again the basal cell is formed again this keep on maturing again they die again they die so likewise they keep on dying and they keep on coming they keep on coming so they die they come so this should be in balance this should be in balance that is called homeostasis that is called homeo stasis understand so if the cell is not dying only new cells are coming then it will end up in cancer it will end up in cancer understand so there are some cells in our body that keep on dividing they that are called dividing cells they are continuously dividing cells continuously dividing cells even oral mucosa even the cells epithelium of the GAT and epithelium of the urinary bladder all keep on dividing all keep on dividing because they die and they they come okay so this is a programmed cell death because after a period of time these cells will mature and they will die it is a programmed cell death it is not pathological it is a programmed cell death it is genetically programmed and when they die genetically programmed is new cell will come genetically it is programmed after the cell death new cell will come so this programmed cell death is called as apoptosis it is called as apoptosis understand okay and there are some cells example liver cells okay normally they will not divide they are stable this liver cells apoptosites are stable but any damage happens if the damage happens they start dividing they start dividing so this is they are quiescent cells they are quiescent cells they are at silent cells when they, they when some of the tissue got damaged immediately the the tissue which is good the cells in that tissue they will divide and they will again reform the uh, tissue again they will reform the tissue so they are called quiescent silent cells understand so these are the different types of cells i hope you all understand this basics inshallah in the next next recording we will be going into the lecture